Welcome and thanks for watching. Uh, a few weeks ago, we got a boar cider in uh, to do a review on. And I, I've got one similar to this, but now there's some features on this I, I like better than the one I have. And uh, I'm gonna bring the cameras down. I'm gonna show you this real quick. And uh, this is a pretty simple boar cider that I use a lot, uh, some similar, same design. And, uh, but this one's got a little bit different features, uh, a couple that I really like. So I'm gonna pull it down here and let's take a look at it. Okay, this is the Easy Shot Boar Cider. Uh, and guys, right out of the box, you got your manual. And let's kind of take a look at this real quick. Now, this takes a CR2 battery, and you get two of those with it. Uh, so that's okay, right out of the box. Now, let's see. This one will side anything in from a 17 caliber up to a 54. And I have used these on my uh, pellet rifles. So, ah, works great. Now, this will do a 243, a 308, a 270, uh, anything from, like, like it says, from a 17 to a 54 caliber. Now, the one I have will actually do uh, the 20, 12. Now, this one will do the 410 gauge shotgun. Uh, it's got it on here. And it tells you how to bore sight your rifle in or your sights, and it kind of gives you a diagram to go by. So this is a pretty good little manual. And uh, about where I usually sign mine in at, it says 25 to 30 yards. And then shoot it at 100 and do your final adjustments. Now, let's see what we got here. Now, like I say, we got two batteries, and these, like we said, was a CR2 three boat. And you got your laser cider. And you got all your little attachments here. And like this goes from all different size rifles, pistols. And if I can get this open, there we go. I'm just gonna pour these out here. Let's take a look at them. Now, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine pieces. And like it's going from your 17 caliber up to the 54. Now, how this works uh, and what I like about this one, the one I have has a tube and it, you have to fill the batteries up with those little small batteries like watch batteries and put them down in there and now this one you simply just drop the battery in tighten it up but now this one mine comes on and stays on it until you loosen it back up that's the only way you can turn it off now this one actually has a on and off switch right here and you can see that and so now that's one of the features i like mine does not have that and it comes with uh a little screwdriver these are phillip heads uh to tighten these up but i've never had to really uh, use that we're going to show you how to do that real quick now, these are kindly notched all the way around. And what that's for, when you put this up, now this is tapered at the main end. It's got a little taper on it, which goes up in here now. And when you tighten this down, after it gets so tight, it starts spreading this apart. And that's what makes it tighten up into the rifles. So you might have to do that if it's, this one's kindly stiff. So 
that's probably why they're putting a screwdriver in here for so you can actually tighten that and spread that out until it starts once it starts grabbing the rifles then you can tighten it on down and tighten it up into the board and uh get a good snug fit which makes it more accurate uh tighten in with your laser so uh i wanted to show you that uh i've got my 350 lead in here and let's see if there's anything else in the box nope that's it just another extra battery all right let's lay this out of the way and now this gun has been cleared before the video guys and now what we're going to do is kind of show you how this works now you want to take your bore cider and i think it will be uh, it'll be this one here i think it is and you would simply that just screws right on it, threaded. And the end of this is threaded, and you just screw it right up on. Now don't tighten this up until you start it and get it in there. And then just tighten it on down till it's snug in there. Turn it on. And now you can take this outside. I know you can do this because uh, I, that's where I, I thought mine in. You could actually do it in a building uh, against a wall, but you, you need to get at least 25 to 30 yards if you're gonna be shooting 100. So what you wanna do is get your bore cider in and uh, get your target set up and put that on your target and simply adjust your crosshairs uh, to the top of that dot and uh, with my experience these really get you on target fast if not dead on bullseye uh, sometimes it'll be dead on uh, with just bore sighting it's always got me on the paper so this really helps and this is made out of an aircraft aluminum and uh, <laughs> uh, they come in handy and if you're using like on a pistol and you got adjustable sights, you can use it the same way. Uh, just put it back in the barrel, find one that fits, latch it on and put it in and adjust your sights right over to the dot and you'll be on paper. Uh, these works great. Now, if you're interested in one of these, we're gonna leave a link and I think these is uh, like 19 bucks, 18, 19 bucks and you get everything with it and so uh like i say if you're interested we'll leave a link it'll take you to the site and uh so you can get on and order one of these if you if you haven't got one already or you'd like to have one and uh i i, I use mine a lot that's basically what i use uh 90 percent of the time now i do like the little uh the ones that uh, like the cartridge uh board cider like the nine, the two, two, three, uh, but you have to have so many different ones. And when I'm out with a uh, multiple guns at the range, I usually take these because uh, it'll about take care of any gun I've got. So guys, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all those views and comments and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything and give us a big thumbs up. It helps. And we'll see you all the next time on The Walk With Al. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you.